was delighted to be invited to speak at the conference, so I'm here with great pleasure. Yes, I had the privilege of having a healthcare experience from several perspectives. I was an executive at a few major hospitals in Toronto, loved it, and then I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. My brain tumor is inoperable, fortunately not malignant, but I started to look at healthcare from the perspective of being a patient, and it's quite a revelation of how you're treated and how you're not treated. So I've been a passionate patient advocate ever since. I think patients need to be treat, treated like people, not like a case number or a file or an interesting disease. They are a person who needs care, and that person needs other people who actually have some empathy for them and some consideration. So we have marvelous health care in Canada. I mean, we are we're fortunate to live here. And the bricks of the health care are solid. But between those bricks, the mortar is uneven and cracked. And it's not because the clinicians don't care. It's that they don't show that they care. They don't take time to make personal contact. And it boils down to exactly what our parents tried to teach us. Think about how you would like to be treated when you treat others. And that is the key of empathy. I think there's massive amounts of knowledge and skill. There's massive amounts of new technology and exciting new directions for healthcare. But without the third ingredient, which is compassion, there is no healthcare. There's no care in healthcare. So my message is always very simple. Remember, every interaction with your patient counts. Everything you can do to make that person feel safe counts. And nobody guarantees the outcomes, but the process can be kinder and can be more devoted to people and not just speed. Well, I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh, it is a tumor that sits there. I get checked. The end result won't be good. I know that. But in the meantime, I've got a new scaffolding for my life. I am happy to give back in the way that I can, which is communicating with with doctors and with clinics and with hospitals and with patients and with students about how they can really make care more than just a procedure, but make it a personal relationship. You can't cure everybody, but you can help them along the healing process. So for me, that's a joy. I'm working again. I've got a wonderful family and I, I am a, a serial optimist about the world and about my place in it. And I actually revel in all I can do and I don't think too much about what I can't do ahead. I think the field is ripe with wonderful people who are doing and will do great things. So it's heartening to talk to people who've been in a similar situation or who are caring for people in a similar situation to hear about the research that's happening. And for me, what helped this whole journey, and it's been a couple decades, is the community I had around me, my family, my friends, my neighborhood, and People, when they're alone, need to know there are organizations like this, there are uh, devoted souls who want to help them, and I think community and a society that's around you helps everybody. I would say to Susan and the team, not only is this a thoughtful conference well put together, it's a conference of hope, and it's actually a conference that aligns all the good ideas with the good people, so kudos to them.